For all you Debian users, there's exciting news. Debian 12 Bookworm has been released. After a year, nine months, and 28 days of development, we finally have gotten the latest stable version of Debian called Debian 12, codename Bookworm. Bookworm will be supported for five years by the Debian security team and the Debian long-term support team. So I took some time to install Debian 12 just to get a brief look at it. I do want to highlight probably the biggest change. That's right, Debian has finally given us access to an archive that then we can download non-free packages and firmware from. This was based on a 2022 proposal about non-free firmware where Debian understood the importance of giving proprietary software to its users if they chose to use it. Before, the only way to really install non-free firmware or packages would be to explicitly download the packages onto a CD, USB, and then introduce them during the installation. Well, that left a lot of Debian installs broken because a lot of people did not choose to do that option and would start up Debian and post-install, they would have a rough time because they didn't have the proper drivers. Now that is all going away with a new archive area, making it possible to separate non-free firmware from other non-free packages, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm excited about this because I have an NVIDIA graphics card myself and it can be a pain to install the proper graphics drivers without non-free packages. Most of the non-free packages have been moved from non-free to non-free firmware. This separation makes it possible to build a variety of official installation packages. I've talked about this general resolution as well as proposal in the past. I'll put a link to the video if you wanna learn more about the decision behind using non-free firmware in Debian, at least giving you access, but let's get into Debian 12 now. I've installed it here on my computer. That way we can check things out. I'm using GNOME as my default desktop environment. And the main thing I wanna check out is, I want to check out some system information so we can see what exactly is running on Debian 12 Bookworm. So the current windowing system that I'm using is Wayland. The GNOME version is 43. And Bookworm is being shipped with several desktop environments, including GNOME 43, which we're checking out, KD Plasma 5.27, LXDE 11, LXQ 1.2, Mate 1.26, and XFCE Edition 4.18. So here in Debian 12, what you'll notice is using GNOME 43, we're using around 1.2 gigabytes out of the eight gigs that I have available in memory. This is after a reboot, and currently our file system requires around 4.8 gigs out of my 125 gigs that's available on the system in order to run Debian. For those of you behind a couple additions on the desktop environments, you'll definitely notice a change and update to your desktop. Let's talk about the new packages. This specific release, Debian 12, has 11,000 and 89 new packages, accounting for a total of 64,419 packages. There have been 6,296 named obsolete, and over 43,000 packages were updating during this release. A few other things to mention, the Debian Medical Blend introduces Shiny Server, which is a package that simplifies scientific web applications using R. Debian Astro Blend has been updated with some packages as well. For all of us who are enthusiasts, hobbyists, and love astronomy. Secure boot support for ARM64 has been reintroduced. So those of you running that architecture are supported in order to take advantage of that security feature. Of course, Bookworm introduces a bunch of software updates. Over 67% of, of all packages in Debian have been updated. So if you were waiting for an update in one of your applications, more than likely it has been updated. Here are some of the main ones that have been updated. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but the Apache server, Emacs, GIMP, the GNU compiler tools, LLVM, we've updated ourselves to Linux kernel 6.1, and that's some of the updates that we'll notice on Debian 12. There are nine official architectures supported with Bookworm. They still have a 32-bit i386 option and the 64-bit PC AMD 64 option. 64-bit ARM, ARM EABI, ARM V7, Little Endian MIPS, 64-bit Little Endian MIPS, 64-bit Little Endian PowerPC, and IBM System Z. One note is that 32-bit PCs, the i386, no longer covers any of the i586 processors. The new minimum requirement is an i686, so stay with bullseye if that's the case. So Debian 11 will support the i586 processor for the remainder of the support cycle. The Debian Cloud team for Bookworm has released this on multiple cloud computing services for those of you using Debian as a server, you'll be excited to know it's available on Amazon EC2, Microsoft Azure, OpenStack, Generic Cloud, and NoCloud. 
So overall here in Debian, there isn't much new stuff. Unless you haven't updated your desktop environment in a while, you won't really be getting anything extremely new besides our kernel updated, which will give us more support for hardware. We're at kernel 6.1. Two, your desktop environment will be updated, pushing you towards the latest in dev. Of course, you're not gonna be at the bleeding edge, but you'll be a few versions behind what's currently available. Three, probably the biggest change here is the non-free firmware packages, which are now available during the install process if you need them, which is an absolutely fantastic thing here. A lot of us struggle to get Debian on our systems because of this, so it's a big change that's taking place here in Debian Bookworm. Besides that, all of our favorite packages have received updates where necessary. And does this make you want to update Debian or install it now? Let me know in the comment section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.